So I want you to take a quick moment and think to yourself, if all of a sudden I had twice the freedom, I had twice the revenues, I had twice the profits, what would be true? I'm going to give you some things that would likely be true. And it's all going to come down to what must you give up? I thought giving up's a bad thing, Bill. Nope, not if it's delegating. Giving up's the best thing you could ever do. Here are the things you need to consider giving up. I've been, I've been through this over a hundred times, guys. Please, please find yourself in one of these seven. What do you need to give up more of? What do you need to give up more of? I want to reach the next level. I want to reach the next level. Okay. What do you got to give up? Something's got to be given up regarding casework, intake, okay, customer service or client interaction, email, clerical tasks. Okay, those, those are give up activities. And then the last three are decision activities. So the top four are giving up activities. Five, six, and seven are decision-based. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. But Andy and I don't build any of our clients' marketing campaigns. We don't do sales calls. Okay, like, how, oh, how, how, how do you do? Easy for you, Bill. You're in a different industry. Okay, dude, like, whatever, man. Like, I don't know what to tell you. John Morgan's not dealing with customer service issues. It's a decision. It's pretty simple. Are you decided on giving up the casework or the intake or the client interaction, or are you just interested in it? Now, don't give up, don't give up what you love. But also don't lie to yourself that you love something that you really don't love because it's hard to give it up. Man, I'm, I'm getting through some veins today. This is good, man. Woo! I can feel the room right now. Oh, man, we got to give some stuff up. Oh, this is a good day. Okay. Decide on your next three hires. Spend twice as much on payroll or marketing. Make immediate profit increase decisions. Stop tolerating low profit margin. Just freaking make the decision, like get the cases you need to get to have higher margin. Stop your team from being inefficient and you'll have more profit margin. If your team produces better results in shorter time with less budget, you get higher quality cases, you will increase your profit margins. Take time out of the equation. Okay, I was talking to this guy at my, at my group fitness gym uh, the other day. He's like, Bill, he watches my Instagram stuff. He wants me to mentor him. He's like, I, I was like, what's your goal? He's like, I'd really like to make $300,000. I was like, by when? He was like, seven years. <laughs> I was like, I can't mentor you, dude. That's too long. So my first question was, okay, how do we condense your goal to like, how can we do that in six months? Right? That's part of the reason you're in this program, by the way. I'm, I'm pushing you to, to take whatever this 10-year plan was. Let's condense it into six months. Can we double the firm in six months? If your whole family's lives were at stake, could you double your firm in six months? Now, you're not going to do all this alone. It always comes down to who, not, how. Who, not, how? Who's got my answer on building an intake department? Who's got my answer on being my marketing director? Who's got my answer on managing all the operational stuff? Who put up the job description now? If you're anxious about it, it, it. Make a job description about it. Right now, we, we got frustrated our last event that we held. It was a freaking pain to pull off that event in, such, in two months notice. My team's all stressed. They're like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, great, we're going to hire an event coordinator. Anything you're anxious or overwhelmed about, hire someone for it. What if that was your response to overwhelm? Oh, we're just missing a job position for X. Okay, at the end of the day, 
The solution to every problem you're experiencing, the two goals for you this year is A, seek clarity, B, become a level five leader. The number one way you become a level five leader is to become transformational in your communication styles rather than transactional. Most lawyers manage their team transactionally. Get X done by X day. 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 Is there anything inspirational there? So when we tell you to create the vision and the annual plan and the quarterly voters, this is a form of transformational leadership. You are doing a service to your team when you clarify what those three to six most important goals are. When you cheerlead them, when you talk about the vision, you live the vision, you live the core values of the firm, where you can't shut up about it. The, the morale of your team rises. People are happier. They have a clear North Star. The number one goal of a transformative leader is to teach people to point themselves to success. As soon as you become a eight to multi eight figure law firm owner, where, you're, where the firm's multiplying and growing itself, you are a full-time coach. I'm only telling you this guys, because I went from one to 40 full-time employees in four years. I'm, all I do is coach people now. You can't do the work. You can't do any work. If you want A players, you can't do any work or you're gonna attract B players because you're gonna have to be the smartest person for everything. That's transactional leadership. Transformational leadership is teaching others to point themselves to success, okay? Bosses dictate leaders' influence. Your language patterns are why the energy is low in your firm and why you're not reaching your goals. If you can learn to energize everyone on your team and align them towards a North Star, your firm will grow. But Bill, when do I have time to do the work? You don't do the work. They do. You align them on the right activities. You prioritize the team. You are a cheerleading machine. It, you better be showering compliments and love and support on your team. Still need to be firm, right? But it's this mental shift of, it's not about me doing the work. <laughs>